this part we're going to cover how to update a an existing record okay having said that it's going to be similar idea as adding a new record so we'll be using the data grid to update an uh, existing record so we should be able to double click and cell type in what we need to and hit enter that should be it if you want to add um, edit more cells then you should be able to tap through or you can use your mouse double click again but uh, i find it easier to use a tab and you know once you're done editing just hit enter that should trigger the same event we used for adding our records which is this guy here row edit ending event handler okay so um <clears throat> let's get going so first i'm going to create a new method that's going to send the changes to the file okay so i'm going to call this method update song okay so first i want to create a new variable and call this um, list and i want to hook into songs.song list okay i can't because this property is not static so let's make that static so that so that we can hook into it all right so songs that song list uh, then i want to prep breakpoint right here at the second brace ending brace let's put another breakpoint here and run it okay so let's try to update a record Let's change the unforgiven to unforgivens and hit enter. When we hit enter, it should fire the event and we hit the first breakpoint. Let's continue. Step over. Um, okay, we are inside our update method now. Let's hit F11. Okay, so let's check our list now. So since the list is our item source the changes should take effect immediately and as you can see the title was updated to unforgivens okay so that part is working the visual part and the list the item source is being updated okay so what we want to do with this method we want to update the file all right so to update the file we're going to say um, for each actually first i want to create a string uh, variable let's call this um, string lines and set this to an empty string and then create a for each loop so for each item let's call this s in songs dot song list again this the uh, this will be the updated list and we'll uh, we'll say lines plus equals and then we are going to copy and paste this to save some time this line here copy this and paste right in here so every time we loop through the records going to add this line to the lines variable okay um, and then once we're done we'll say we'll call the file class we'll say write all text and then we'll pass in the path which is our file variable right here okay and we'll pass in the contents which is our lines variables right here Okay, so we'll pass in both 
and this is going to overwrite the existing file with the new information with the updated record okay all right uh, let's try this out uh, remove that um, first breakpoint I don't think we need it anymore and actually we don't need that second one as well we know it's working as it's expected to okay at this point actually we don't need the, this variable too so let's get through that so we only have four lines of code okay let's run this and see what happens if we did all right we should update our file with the new information so let's go with um, same the first song again so I'm forgiven let's say um, update it okay and hit enter now if we go check our song class I mean song file CSV file as you can see our record is updated successfully okay um, it doesn't have to be only one cell it, the idea is at any if you're in edit mode and when you hit the enter it's going to fire the event to update the uh, file okay um, so you may say well okay we are using we're going to use be using the same event event handler for two functions basically one adding to the file the other one is updating how are we going to tell the difference right that's a valid point so if you look at the uh, records the difference between the two most likely it's going to be when you're adding your list will be more than what's inside your file so we can uh, create an if statement let's go ahead and do that let's say if actually first let's get the length of the file so let's say var um, number of songs in file and let's say equals um, file dot read all lines and we'll pass in the file path dot length that should get the number of lines next we're going to say uh, if um, number of songs in file um, smaller than songs dot song list then which means well hold on we got an error here so this is returning a uh, int oh okay of course uh, song, song list that count so if the number of lines sums in the file smaller than the ones in our list which means we are adding a new record then we'll call add song method okay let's uncomment that else we're updating it if the number of lines are equal most likely we are updating the record okay all right
Okay, let's put a couple of breakpoints here. One actually here for the add new song and the second one for the update song. And let's run this and test it out. Okay, let's go to the last row. Double click and start typing in. 33 tab. Let's see. Uh, mm, let's go with. Um, it wasn't me. Shaggy. Um, not sure. Unknown. Uh, this is considered what? Do we have anything that fits? Uh, probably RMB. Yeah, let's select RMB. Tab. Let's date. Let's say 2000. And www.shaggy.com. Tab. Okay, so now the number of songs in the file is 32 but our count for the song list that we just added a record is 33 so in this case this condition is true and it it's going to run this method activate this method and add a new song to it if we continue we should be able to see another song in our file okay and there it is okay uh, similarly if we um, update a song let's say um, let's say sway change this sway away hit enter now since the number or number of songs in the file and number of songs in the list are same actually you can see down below here you can see they are same count in that case it's going to run the update method which in turn is going to update the file okay let's hit continue and let's check our file again and we should see our record updated with the new information okay so that's updates and next we next uh, I don't know if you have time but to cover the delete operation because that's going to be different than this, a different event. So uh, let's see.